Hi everyone, welcome to the playlist of the atomic revolution. So guys, as we have discovered these elementary particles, these are nothing but the subatomic particles or else these are the constituents like uh, protons and the neutrons are consist of the fermions. These are nothing but the elementary particles. These are the building blocks of all the matter, all the substance that exist in the universe. So these are the elementary particles. But this is not the end point. The research is still going on on those elementary particles. Well, guys, let's talk about this discovery of the atoms and this uh, like the whole the stages up to the elementary particles. So guys, this is the reason I have created a playlist that is named as Atomic Revolution. And in this particular video, we are going to start with the beginning. That is nothing but the Dalton's Atomic Theory in 1808. Sir John Dalton, he discovered the atomic theory and uh, he postulated six points regarding the atoms and he postulated a theory which is named as Dalton's atomic theory. He discovered this particular atomic theory in 1808. So guys, over here in this video, we are going to uncover the six points that is postulated by Mr. Sir John Dalton in his theory. And guys, if you're new over here on my educational channel, please do subscribe because ultimately your subscription will really motivates me to make this kind of educational videos. So guys, without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the Sir John Dalton's Atomic Theory. So guys, in 1808, Sir John Dalton, he postulated six points and he named those points as a Dalton's Atomic Theory. So guys, Sir John Dalton, he was an English chemist, scientist and a meteorologist and he postulated six points related to the atoms. Well, uh, he referred the old idea of the Democritus, that is the 2000 year old idea of Democritus, that is nothing but the atomos. The meaning of the atomos is the smallest particles that cannot be further divided. The meaning of the atoms is unable to cut. Well guys, uh, he referred the two basic uh, theories that is nothing but the laws of chemical combination and the second theory that is the law of conservation of mass well this law of chemical combination works on the laws of conservation of the masses like in any kind of the chemical reaction the atoms which are taking part in those chemical reaction and the masses of those atoms can be conserved only when these atoms which are taking part in chemical reaction could rearrange themselves to form a different compound to form a different molecule this is nothing but the law of chemical combination whereas on the other hand the law of constant proportion states that in two different elements like these two different elements different atoms will be having different properties these two different atoms are completely different than each other such as in case of water water consists of the h2o that is water molecules consist of the two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom the each hydrogen atom and oxygen atom will be having the different atomic mass different structure and different properties basically so this is nothing but the law of constant proportions so guys by referring these two laws sir john dalton he postulated six basic points and he named those basic points as his atomic theory so now let's check out the first point when all the matter that we can see around us all the substances these substances are consist of the small particles these small particles he named as atoms these atoms cannot be further divided and these atoms are the building blocks of all the matters of all the substances that we can see around us he referred those atoms as the main fundamental particles the next point is that these atoms cannot be uh, created or this particular atoms cannot be destroyed in any kind of chemical reaction like whenever a chemical reaction occurs the atoms could rearrange themselves to form a new compound to form a new substance a new molecule but we cannot uh, create or destroy these atoms like in a chemical reaction of the hydrogen and oxygen they form a new molecule that is the molecule of water and we know how water is important in our everyday life these water molecules are consist of two hydrogen and one oxygen atoms so over here these two hydrogen atoms these are very much identical in shape these two hydrogen atoms will be having similar uh, atomic mass 
having similar atomic structure having similar atomic characteristics but the oxygen and the hydrogen if we compare these two atoms these two atoms will be having the different shape different atomic mass so over here the law of conservation of the mass is served over here and he referred those laws and he postulated this second point that's this atoms cannot be created or cannot be destroyed moving ahead to the third point that the same elements atoms are very much identical in nature the same elements atoms are always same the different elements atoms are different that is a simple point its uh, characteristics its masses these are also different the next point he postulated the fourth point that is guys have you ever heard about the us like a uh, uh, half of the atom no right the atoms always exist in a discrete whole numbers they cannot exist in a partial or else in fractions basically these atoms are always in a whole numbers so this is the reason when we talk about the ratio when these atoms uh, form a particular com compound or when these atoms forms a particular molecule the ratio is in a set of complete whole numbers so here comes the fifth point that that is while forming a chemical compound atoms combine to form a compound in the whole number ratios that is such as in case of the water h2o 2 is to 1 methane ch4 1 is to 4 that is the whole number ratio over here and we can say this particular whole number ratio can be called as the relative number and this particular relative number will be same for a given compound like let's say water no matter wherever you are in the world like the constituents in the water will be always same like it's uh, the uh, atomic arrangement the pattern will be always same no matter what is the state of the water that is the solid gaseous or the liquid state its main constituents will be always same its relative number will always be the same so guys these are nothing but the six points that are postulated by mr sir john dalton in 1808 So guys over here in this video we have learned about the Dalton's atomic theory but later in 1879 JJ Thomson he conducted a cathode ray experiment and then he found that this particular atoms are not the end points the atom can be further divided and there are some particles which are present in the atoms itself so guys in the next video we are going to learn about the JJ Thomson's cathode ray experiment So guys till then stay tuned with Ingenious Academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video if you having any doubts any queries please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my educational channel Ingenious Academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video